The next picture we're going to be doing, folks, is a stag. I did one many, many, many years ago, and it's very successful. And it's a snow scene, which is what this is going to be, and uh, it's going to double up as a Christmas card for this year. Uh, that'll be rather fun. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is putting a, bit, a little bit of light in. Um, this is just a little bit of shine that will eventually be coming through on the end of the antlers. Okay, and then I'm going to use 270. And that's going to go on every... Oh, did I put... I didn't put any on here, did I? It's where the shine is... is as I say, on the end of the antlers. So we've got to be putting some ivory in with that as well. But I, I need the light, the white, to start the ball rolling. There we are. Now that's all of the whole of the antlers done. I'm starting here. Normally I, I start with the head. Well, in this case. Uh, you're better to do the antlers first and then we'll drop them down to the head. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, next to that, I'm going to use a bit of 182. Now, I'm going to put some grey on, but it's a question of what I put on first. So I'm going to put the 182 because I want these to be reddish, ochreish. But the danger is if you put the, the the reddy colour, which is going to be 186 as the, the, the main colour on first, it's going to be a little bit too powerful, a bit too strong. So what I'm doing is I'm weakening it, the effect that that colour will have on these antlers. And I'm going to put a little bit of grey on the top of this, because you know that grey and the 273 grey and ochre work well together. And then we'll put the red on. And that would mean that although we'll have a ready ochre appearance to uh, the antlers, they won't be that obvious. They're not, they're a little bit in real life, they are more bland than that. It's the same with the fur. It's going to be exactly the same idea. You see how that's working? Okay, now we have a little bit of grey. When I say a little bit, I do mean just a little bit. It's just a token amount, really. That's why I didn't put it on first, but on top of the 270. And they are a little complicated, too. So you have to bear with me on this, because there's not a lot of room. And eventually we're going to put a background on this and you can imagine how complicated that's going to be. But there's no getting out of it. Now that is great. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now we've got to think about putting um, another colour in. I think what I'm going to do is, is use 177. And what I'm going to do now, this is a very unusual. I haven't seen you do this before, but I'm actually going to use the 177 rather like um, a graphite pencil that I was using it, putting the outline in. Anyway, now this is going to take a little time, so I'll, um, I'll just do these few here, and then I'll complete the rest later, because I want to take you now to the next... Oh, you see, it's a, not a lot of room here. That's not quite right. It ain't quite right, folks. So I'm gonna do a little bit of erasing. I've, I've decided to make this a smaller picture. Yours will be a little bigger than this. So you'll have a little bit more room to get all this in. Okay, that's fine. And I might as well do all of this now. And then I'll do the other one with the same idea. Okay, 
Now it's the turn of that colour I was talking about, 186. Now 186 is really, really strong, as you'll see when it goes on. So you can understand why I was reluctant to put that directly on to... the antler. It would have been much too red. No, that's not bad. Okay. And the next colour is one no it's not, it's two eight three folks. And here we're starting the ball rolling really with the reddish ochreish, dark reddish ochre, 186 and 183 together, give you this lovely tone. Okay, that's good. And now, oops, it's a toy turn of the colour shaper. Now the colour shaper I'm going to use is the soft one, pointed one. Now if you were going to use any other and uh, grey or the ivory you'd need to use the corner. That's why I'm using this because it's not a lot of room so to get that in. You've got to make sure that it's nice and smooth. You can see I'm going to end up by putting the the white back in in a minute. But that's got what I wanted. Now I should do the other side exactly the same way and then when I come back I'm going to sharpen up this 177 to a needle part point and bring more depth in. But that is looking good at the moment. I'll just turn it around. I have to turn it around this way because the only way I could get to it. So uh, I'm, now I'm going to go this way around. But there's no need to see me do that because it's going to be exactly the same as that one. So when I've finished, we can come back and then I can just finish those off. Right, I've brought you closer now to see how this next bit is put in. This is 177. I'd already put 177 on the outside. Now we're going to use a very sharp one to go back over it again, but this time also darkening as we go. See the first one? And now the second. We've still got the light to put back again. Lovely. This is good fun. I think you're going to enjoy this. And these are going to stand out really well against the background, which is going to be a light. It's going to be a sky behind there, but it's going to be really attractive. It's going to be very impressionistic. Not the not the stag, isn't it? That's going to be quite detailed, but the background is going to be very impressionistic, which I'm looking forward to. In case you're interested, I'm using five references. Five references going in? Yes, I am. Five different references. So it's impossible to show you. And I'm pinching bits from every one of them. They're all a stag, but I like, I like to um, have as much as I can. I'm not relying on one particular photograph. And none of the photographs that I've found and what I want have got snow in them. Well, one of them has actually, one of them did, did have originally, it was my original one. And now, um, I like the idea of that. You see, the, the, the 186, which is a very rich colour, hasn't made too much of an influence on that, simply because the colours I put underneath have stopped it. So now we go back over again. Now this is with 283 and even that has now has been quite subdued but I love the way those are coming up. Now I think what I might do is just put just a little bit of 
186 now. 186 now, you can just see the way that that is just reacting. Just a little touch of red, reddy ochre in there. It is a terracotta. 186, let's see. Description. Oh, I love that. It's just a hint of colour without it being OTT. And now, <clears throat> now I'm going to put some ivory in. Now the ivory uh, will go into like that. On top of the white, because we're going to put the white back in a tick. And then graduate it in. We want to retain, you see, the dark outline because we're going to be putting in a light background. Great. One final touch now with the white pencil. I've got a nice sharp white. All we want to do here is just put a little bit of a little touch. That will end up being a little more pointed than that when I do the background. No more than that. You remember when you're doing a picture, you want to make it as attractive as you can. And that really is looking good. And there we are now, let me pull those and show you. Don't they look good? Okay, that's all I want for the moment on that. Um, now we're going to move down to the, the head. And the first thing I'm going to be doing there is going to put some ivory inside the ear because it's quite light in here. Put the ivory in there and inside the ear. And then, once again, we need the, the grey, so we'll we grey it down by putting in 270 and that can go over the whole of the head as well everywhere where we've got the darker tones there's a little bit of ivory around those above the eye there I'll put that in and um, we've also got some here and we've got some actually we've got some white there as well it's probably better to do the lighter colours first as you see them, or as I, as, as I as show you them, because then you can put the darker colours in around it. Well, darker, they're all light really. We're looking at 270, which is a light colour, but obviously that's where the dark is going to be put on top of the... Uh, I mean, you, you, you can know by now the idea of this is to stop the stronger colours being too vivid. As the, st the stacks and let's testify. That's fine. And now another thing that I really will do while I'm here, this is miles too early, what do you think it would be, but I'm going to put the eye in because I don't want to lose these eyes now. You might say to me, well, where's the light in the eye? Can't you usually put a light dot in the eye? Well, that's virtually impossible when I've got an eye as small as this. It will go in there, but it will go in right at the end. And you can see there's a tiny little eye. Okay, so that's uh, the eye in. Whoop. Sorry, I hope you saw that. I, I realise I moved it up. But let me just, if in case you didn't see it, I can't do it, I can't rub it out and do it again. Let me just do that again. Top of the head is with me here, you may not have seen around there. This is with the 270, and then I put the library in here in case you missed it. Okay, now I think what we'll do now is we'll make this just a little stronger, that white, which is not white, it's it's a, it's a, again, it's a greyish ochre colour, but it's light. So we'll put the ochre, the ivory on top of it. 
<laughs> now it's virtually got everywhere on that head now. It's got some colour underneath it. So we'll put some grey. This is just on the outside edge of the ear, like that. Same on the other side. Great. Um, I think I'll also put some grey light. of the grey on the fur or fur hair. I'm not sure whether it be fur or hair with a, a stag. Okay, great. And now uh, we've got to start thinking of um, some colours too. We've we'll put some ochre in. Think uh, now. I think what I'll do is put the one eight six in. Hmm. Plus here it is. Now the one eight six will be quite vivid. We haven't guessed already. We're going to be putting some colour shaper on here in a minute and blending it. But I don't want it to be all that colour, so I'm now going to put some 182 in as well, and that stops it from being too rich. And now the darker colour, just as we did with the antlers. I'm going to use the dark brown. detail. It deviates slightly here for some reason. And I'm just going to follow the pictures I've got, or the references I've got. Right. Now if you look at the eyes you'll see now that they do need to be darker. So I'm going to use a darker colour. I'm going to use some a 181 and just going to darken them Good. and now we need to blend it before we go any further we're going to carry on using that pointed colour, tapered colour shaper then I want some of that colour from there to go into the ear. Very small picture. This is why, although um, it, it will look when I finish it as though it's got quite a bit of detail, it's not going to be that detailed. I'll probably add, add a little more of that in there now. This is ready really for the, the next colour that will go on, which will be 283. So I put a little bit more in, and now I'm going to add a little bit of contour to the picture. We've got some dark and light, putting, leaving it light there, leaving it light there. And you'll see, as I go through, you'll see it start to emerge. And it's a good idea really when you're doing something like this to use the lighter colour rather than use, relying on the dark colour to do this by using another because you can always change this light colour whereas if you go too dark too quickly you can't do that. 
So you get the idea of how this is all going to work out, and that looks good to me. Right, so now we go in now with that stronger colour, which is 283. 283. That's the one on top of the. One double seven, wasn't it? To try and think what it was then. And one little bit in here, put a bit of definition in. This is where we need the depth. Now I've already done this preliminary action with the 186 and now we do it using the 283. I'll go down half a head and then you'll get the idea of how this is all going to work out. Leave it quite light around the eye there. Okay, now I'm just going to spot just a spot of the light in that eye. Like that. And then make a little bit of black. Like that. Right, now, now you've seen the difference. Let me just complete that nuzzle area there. You can't really put fur in, you've just got to imply it, or the hair, you see, you can't work in this, you know, my fur direction, so to speak. Now, having done that, we now can make the, just a little bit more emphasis, still using that same colour, I think we go a little bit left wrong there, like that, and this time we want to make it a little darker there. Now, let me show you. By Putting that in and then using 177, you can then darken. See that? See how much darker that is? Okay, <coughs> round, round the eye. Bit of ivory. I'm going to sharpen the black up in a little while and that will give me a stronger colour. Now what I'm doing, I'm doing this as I go along. Now normally I don't do this but in a situation like this I do need to do this. I need to do it as I go. So the two colours that I've used which is 283 and 177 need to go in together. See how that's beginning to come together now. Right, now let's continue that idea down here. Two, eight, three, remember? The, the paper is, is giving me a lot of help, I've got to say. Okay. And now, well, what I'll do, I think, is uh, um, I'll, I'll just leave that for the minute and go on this side. Because I'm, and then using, again, 283, as we've done over here, start quite light. And then when you need to, like now, add a bit of strength. Now, just there is where the nose area begins. It might be a good idea when I finish this little section to put the nose in too. Lovely and nearly there now, around 
this edge, same, same as that around there. Darken that. And then down, darken through to there. I'm going to keep a little bit of ochre okay here, so I'm not going to make that all the ready ochre. It's going to be some 182 as well. Okay, now the fun begins. What we've got to do now is, um, in fact, I think I might use one double seven for this. Ah, he's got his mouth now. What a difference that makes, doesn't it? Let's just put a little bit of light back in here as well, because as we're going into this area, the way we're doing it, it's, it's we're leaving, losing some of the the light, which is important. But now I've got to do that. Now, in a way, it's probably a good idea to just, let me first of all, use 181 to put a couple of nostrils in. There and there. But I'm going to put the grey now, which is 273, over the whole lot. Now it's looking a bit more realistic, isn't it? But I do need to sharpen that 181 up now, so I shall do that. But it's looking good. Okay, let me, let me just sharpen my 181 and then I can finish off the nose and then we can add a few little finishing touches to that, but it's looking good. I think what I'll do is, just before I do go, as I look back on it, this is where we need just a spot or two more of the 186. Now the other thing is um, that comes down a little bit too far so I'm going to oh, the antlers stop there they don't come down right down low. So what we do is put this a little light and I've got my nice sharp 181. Now I don't want to make that um, nose too strong, so I'm just kind of leaving it like that. And then it drops down to there. Just a spot of black. Just about get that in. Good. Okay, now we want the right light. You can use then the light colour to cut in to the nose a little bit. Do we need some shadow? I think we probably do over this side of the, of the nose. So there's a touch of 273 and 182. And that will give us a little bit of shadow. It's looking good. Um, I'm going to use some, I don't know whether I can get away with this, I'll try a stronger. of 283 a little bit more of a dome to the head
7. Remember the combination of those two again. Really does create the, the light. I don't think I'm going to do too much more to that. I think that looks it looks quite good to me. Uh, so I might, might well return to it. But, um, Titivation here and a little, just a little bit of more of the 186. And that gives us that ready look which they've all got. And to sum that edge, I've got to come down here with a little bit of light. Gosh, not a lot of room it around there. And just that's great. Mm. 